you've said that you used to practice your Grammy speech as a kid. Have you practiced practiced it all this week, or are you just going to wing it when you get up there? I feel like practicing it is like an acknowledgement that I think I might win, and I feel like I'm super, I'm super superstitious, and that if I say I'm going to start practicing a speech, it's going to kill any chance. But really, I'm not practicing a speech because I'm just trying to live in the moment, be happy I'm there. If I get up on stage, I have so many people to thank. You know, I this is I've st stood on the shoulders of hundreds of people that have brought me here, my mom included. You know, most importantly, and um, I think I'll thank my mom first, and then thank the folks that got me here, my fans. You've been talking about how your mom is your date tonight and building up to this moment. What does it mean to have her here with you? When I was 13 years old, my mom started telling me that I was going to go to the Grammys, and I, uh, you know, she told me I had to bring her as my date, and I didn't believe her until we pulled in the car on the way here, and uh, so it, it's a it's a moment where I feel like you can believe in dreams again. It's almost like if Santa Claus walked through your door when you were 25, 27 years old, and it's like, oh my God, there's magic still, you know? And um, that's how I feel, like just surreal and just like I'm dreaming. You've been out and about at all kinds of events this week, and I loved seeing your bromance with Jelly Roll. Will we see that bromance continue tonight? Yeah, Jelly Roll is awesome. He reminds me of my buddies from back home. He's like so easy to talk to, so fun, so talented. I saw him last night at Clive Davis, just crushing with Lainey Wilson, who's also amazing. And uh, I would, I would just want to go hang and have a beer with him and just talk about life. You know, he's he has such a great perspective. And you posted a TikTok about UMG taking their music off the platform. What's your take on the current status of that situation, and how do you think TikTok and artists benefit from each other? Yeah, it's a definitely a difficult conversation and definitely a difficult topic. I certainly haven't, um, I haven't digested all the facts, and I don't think anyone knows everything. It's a shame for the developing artists, for sure. I'm very, very lucky to have built a career over eight years and built a fan base. Um, I hope that it's resolved, of course, but I, I like to believe that there was music being made before TikTok. Um, and that there's a way around this and there's a way through it. And I, I'm just thinking of the younger artists and hoping that they find their feet.